Oh, what up y'all? And welcome back to another one. We're ready. Finally, I'm ready. It seems like it took me all morning to get ready, but I'm here. I'm awake, barely. Uh, right now it's sitting at about 4.45 in the a.m. Everybody's getting ready. You have a thicker hoodie than that? Okay, oh, yeah. I was like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this isn't my camo. <laughs> morning, fella. Morning. How are you? Awesome. Good. Good morning. Morning. How are you? All right. He's like, don't film me right in the morning, Bob. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. All right. We're about to get out of here. We're headed, uh, got about a 45 minute drive today. And, oh, what do you got there? You got the old pea shooter? Yeah, I kind of want to shoot it. Yeah. 45 minute drive. Um, goose hunt today. Ducks are closed for a few more days until they open up out east again, but little goose hunt out east. Everybody's getting ready this morning. Everybody's chilling. Yeah, buddy. We got some redemption today. We're a little mad. Yesterday we got kicked around by the geese pretty good. So today we're after them pretty hard. Well, I'm doing my rounds. Uh, shutting lights off before we head out. Time to get out of here. Well, this is the every morning routine right here, y'all. And in here, uh, I'm all over the place every morning. Back and forth, in and out, getting stuff ready, juggling, getting clients and trucks. Like today, we're gonna have to load all the clients and trucks because we've got a little further drive. I don't want to make them all drive. Ooh, yeah, buddy. I don't want to make them drive. So, going to get on the road here. First off, I want to thank you guys for purchasing ducks. Uh, if you guys want to help uh, support the channel directly, ducks gear, baby. Ducks gear. Thank you all for picking it up. Uh, y'all doing that. By doing that, y'all have made my dreams come true. And I just want to say thank you for that. Number two, before we get on the road, our podcast, my podcast, is absolutely slapping. It is awesome. Over at Patreon, we have a $5 a month uh, podcast. Five bucks. That's one coffee. That's one McDonald's meal a month. And uh, a lot of good inter entertainment. It's uh, very adult friendly over there, if you know what I'm saying. But that's why it costs, because I don't want all of the youngins uh, going over there and investing their young ears so uh it's a lot of fun over there we don't keep it very clean we just guys having a lot of fun so we're gonna get on the road today i'm just taking you along today this is day in the life of me and and what i do and we're gonna shoot and we're gonna hopefully have a good time today let's get on the road uh podcast and uh ducks merch will be linked down in the description below i greatly appreciate you guys well we are about done here Whew, we've been working our you know what's right the heck on off uh, this is a huge spread I don't know we probably have out a hundred and probably 130 dozen today every bit of probably more but every bit of 130 dozen uh, full bodies up front that's gonna be the first decoy the birds see kind of disguises the rest of the mob. So we're under uh, laying under tall dark socks today. Big Canada spread. Uh, big shout out to G. Old G Wagon found this uh, field yesterday and got on it. Awesome farmer, uh, but it was huge. Yesterday it was like, he said it was every bit of 10,000 dark birds. So he said all of them were dark. There was no snows in here, which is really good. Uh, when we have that, you have a lot better luck, a lot better reaction when it's just all one type of bird you know what i'm saying so i'm ready to go um if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe uh, a lot of waterfowl hunting action going on especially with the lodge going and if you're if you've been here for a while thank you for being here i know i always say thank you because if it wasn't for you guys i wouldn't be able to do this every day of my life and live out my dreams so thank you guys thank you thank you so up is off uh -oh. We're all ready to go. Here's the spread. Hope y'all can see it. Good looking. It's giant. We got it pretty loose up here at our feet. It is huge. This is a big one. Just keeps going. I'm just going to keep going around. This is where I'm sitting. Right here. Uh huh. <laughs> 
Nice shooting, boys. There we go. First bird down. That's good deal right there. Well, it's a little later in the morning here. We knew it was going to be a late start. It's really cold. Uh, they, they were saying a uh, chance for freezing fog. So we knew that the birds were going to wait a little bit to get up today. So first bird down. Let's hope that it starts really trucking here and we get busy because I am getting cold and I need to do some jogging. Well, that's one more we got yesterday. <laughs> that's a lot coming. Yeah. So it's been so cold this morning. It's taken forever for the birds to uh, get off of water. And then with the overcast, I don't know why, but they have been hating us when they do show up. Uh, we decided that we were going to sit it out quite a bit today and uh, give them a chance to fly and to get off the water. We knew that they were going to be on a lot of water or on water a lot this morning, real late. So I hear a bunch coming. It's probably 10:30. Probably every bit of 10:30. Please, please, please. I'm glad y'all are still here. Uh, this video is a lot different. Uh, I guess right now what I'm going for on this video is just to show you the reality of running and operating a guide service. Um, you never know uh, if you're going to be able to please people or not. Uh, so a lot of people are different than others. Uh, a lot of us are the same and, and courteous and whatnot. But um, this is the next day. Yesterday was a very slow hunt. So I'll be very honest with you guys. You guys know that I always wear my heart on my sleeve. I don't hide anything from y'all, especially my clients. Um, the last two days have been very slow shoots. Um, very, very slow. When I, when I say slow, I mean slow. Uh, we've had some weather come in actually today. It's gonna be sunny it looks like. So I think today's shoot will be the best of the three days. Um, that being said, I'm crossing my fingers as I say that, but long story short, we just got done setting up. It's 7 a.m. in the morning uh, when we pulled into the field about 6.30. Um, and mind you, we can be a little later right now because the bird, it's pretty cold. It's 20 degrees out, so the, the birds are waiting to fly. Uh, that's another part of the issue why it's been slow. But long story short, what I'm getting at, I just had two clients just burn out of the field on me. Just skate out and uh they're headed back towards the lodge and so i called gerald because he's still there uh he's not feeling too well and uh, i was like hey can you go over to the lodge and see if uh yada yada and yada yada are there they just flew out of the field in their truck looked like they were pissed and he uh walked over and said yeah they're there i was like well go ahead and talk to him for me and call me back well gerald called me back he was like they just wanted to leave they just wanted to leave and I'm like what do you mean they just wanted to leave we were in the field sitting up and I pulled in the field they were kind of lost in the field I stopped waited for them 10 foot behind the trailer they just flew past me it's been a, a, a tough couple days here and I felt bad as it is and then you have one of them do this and you're like all right come on you know i've already been beaten to death because of these bad hunts the last two days so i'm hoping i didn't get screwed i gotta go look at my books and make sure they're fully paid up i'm not talking i'm not saying anything bad but i hope that uh everything's okay here that's for sure yeah they're already gone they are already vominosed these things are stressful you know these things are out of my control these things I can't control other people I can't control how they feel or, or what they might be going through or why they might be upset or why they might want to go home I have no idea so I'm gonna check things out and we'll pop pop back on here in a minute <laughs> Wow well I guess I'll wait to uh, post this video until we know if in fact this is the case but uh just left the lodge all their stuff's packed gone um 
like I said, the, the, the hunts have been slow, but I've done everything I can to uh, make up for them bad hunts. Um, good dinners every night. Uh, the middle night, we had a huge uh, shrimp, lobster tail, crab boil. It was amazing, but three dinners, all three nights. Uh, yesterday, I paid for everybody's lunch at a very, very nice restaurant, a uh, very enjoyable restaurant. Uh, and then the first afternoon after the crappy hunt, first crappy hunt, uh, I provided skeet shooting, which, you know, shells, a lot of shells, and uh, clays. So I've invested a lot of money in trying to make up for the bad hunts uh, these last three days. So for, for them to just skate out on me still owing a thousand dollars is what they owe me. And I'm not going to say names because it's a personal thing. But I feel like uh, it's important to get out this, you know, get, get this story out. Guys, like I said, I'm going to wait to post this to uh, be, be in fact sure that this is what's legit happened and give them the benefit of the doubt. But <clears throat> don't do that to people. Don't, don't leave without paying in full. People are running a business taking care of their families, feeding their families, feeding their kids off of this. And not only me, we got we got me, Preston, Gerald, Joe, and Drew. It's not just me, so. <sighs> if this is the way it's gonna go down, boy howdy, I'm not happy. What's funny is last night, the one was talking to me and was like, Bob, we, I really wanna rebook to come back for some specs. And I'm like, yeah, you need to come in November. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Uh, what? Ten hours later, here we are. Nothing's changed. We all slept, woke up, boom. See you guys in a minute. Well, just pulled up back to the house. Yeah, are those your shoes? No, those are that guy's. The guy that left? Yeah. Those are his shoes yeah. out there? Yep. You're, you're certain? 100%. Well, they must have put on their waders again, because yesterday... He did have his waders on. He did? Yeah. What in the world? Yeah, those are his boots. Left right out of his boots. Literally left right out of his boots. So this is where we park, obviously. Got the truck, trailer over here, and Gerald, I just pulled up and got back in with Gerald. We're gonna go scout, and he said that they just had a five pack land. Smoked four all but one. Yeah, and the one came back and then they missed. <laughs> <laughs> so it's already better than the last two days. Yeah. Uh, the guy, when I got here, right here is where we pull in the field. You can see our tracks and big cornfield, and we're way over there. Well, he got to the edge of that tree row right there, and he, you could tell he was lost because he went to the tree row. He went too far. So he turned around, and I stopped and waited for him. I'm like, well, I'm just going to wait for him. He can get behind me and follow me out. He blew past me at going going like 30 or 40 mile an hour through that cornfield. Oh, he was booking it. Dude, he was out. And he was so pissed, he got out here. He went down to the corner, turned around, came back. Really? Came in here, stopped, went like in the neighborhood, turned around, came back, like did this, and then left. That's when I called you. So right now he still owes a thousand bucks. You can obviously tell that we already got five on the ground. This is going to be a good hunt. It's hunting's hunting. And that's what he kept saying the whole time. Bob, Bob, hey, don't worry about it. Hunting's hunting. We, re we, we, we know that. You just never know. Yeah, he was super... Because I, I didn't know what's going on. Because I'm scouting today. So I see someone pull into the lodge. I'm like, what the heck? And see, it was them. I talked to him. I was like, hey, what's going on? Everything okay? And he's like, no, nope, everything's good. He's like, we're just gonna head out. You know, we're just gonna go home. Yeah. Everything was great. He's like, thanks for everything, blah, blah. Shook his hand, I was like, all right, have a safe travel. Let me know you need anything. Well, he's the like, bad, nice. but the bad thing is, yes, they were crappy two hunts. This one's already gonna fire up, but the first day we paid, what, bucks? No, bucks for the field. Yesterday was how much bucks for the field? And then between them two, I spent 
you know, a hundred bucks yesterday, and then another hundred bucks for on each skeet, meal. skeet throwing shells and, then, and, and well, everything. Yesterday was like four hundred bucks at lunch. Yeah, I'm just saying their part, what I spent on them, and then each meal, I spent on them two people. A thousand bucks. A thousand bucks for them to be here. Whether it's paying the farmer, mills, throwing skeet, restaurants. Don't be shitty. Don't be shitty. Well, we're pulling in the field here. It's nine o'clock. Karma, karma. The boys were done with their eight man limit at roughly 820. They've been done for every bit of 40, 45, 50 minutes. Finally pulling in the field here to load everything up. I got the trailer on my truck. I've been scouting with Gerald and talking about the situation and what I should do. So we're gonna have to figure that out. But karma, you know, uh, you skate out on the last day and don't pay the rest. Blah blah blah. I'm not trying to. It's it's it's, it's disappointing, but this is what happened. You know, finally get a banger hunt, and you should have been there. Should have been there, I guess, huh? But, I uh, guess what goes around comes around type of deal. I'm not gonna talk about it much anymore. Uh, the Montana boys, and uh, God, these guys are gonna be happy. They're gonna be so happy. So right now what we're gonna do is I'm getting ready to pull up, we'll get everybody's reaction. We'll look at the pile they shot. Uh, but in between here and now, enjoy the footage that Preston, I guarantee, captured on this hunt just now because I wasn't, I obviously wasn't there. Be ready guys, be ready. <laughs> hey guys, front left, all right? On the ground. Shoot there, guys. Well, we're here. Look, G G wagon's already getting after it. All right. How was it? What did I miss? It sucked. Everything. Good. It sucked. <laughs> It sucked because you weren't here, Bob. Yep. It sucked because I wasn't here, I know. I was dealing with other matters, huh? Should have been here. I should have been here. <laughs> Hold on, you, you you had what? We had a great 40 minute shoot. 40 minutes is all it took. Yeah, they decoyed really well, landed right where we wanted to. We kind of would let the first 15 or 20 land and we had really good spins today, so it was quite a show. These guys got to see a lot of cool stuff. Good. Yep. Good. They deserved it. Redemption. Oh, that was re yeah. This third day was redemption for sure. Check it out. Here we go. Did them up pretty good. Yeah, buddy. Hey, he said only shot one box of shell, boys. Yeah. Was it a good one? Yeah. First time waterfowlers it. here. Isn't yeah, it? this is your first time waterfowl hunting. Yes. Loved it? Loved it, yeah. That was, that's how it's supposed to go, right? Well, I can't believe how close you get them in. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh no, don't film me, <laughs> nah. Bob. Don't it was do a it. Good hunt, though. That's that was a fun part. Was, I just wanted to get your first reaction great. back in the truck. I don't honestly I don't even know what to say. It was it was a that's good hunt. That's how they're supposed to be. It was a good hunt. After the last couple days and it was rough, but that was that was a great hunt. I wish your dad could have been here. Don't I know. You? I wish he was too. I thought he was gonna come. But yeah, his, his dad, 
they got here the first day, and after just a few hours, your dad started yep. feeling real bad. Yep. Started feeling sick. He's like, guys, I don't want to spread want anything. anything. Well, I got to go. And he did. Mm -hmm. uh, kudos to you, my man, um, for um, just trying to keep everybody else in the lodge safe with whatever sickness you might have or may not have. Thank you, sir, but you missed out on a good one. I really wish you could have been here for this one. You deserved to be here, man. Um, but your boy had a good time. Did you shoot the heck out of him? I did. Yep, I did. <laughs> I did. It was fun. It was a great hunt. Oh, well, it's the next day. And I had to put down the camera. I had to regather my thoughts. And I had to get some sense back in my head. Um, the client that left finally started texting me back. Uh, I was pretty upset, so it didn't go very well. Uh, needless, needless to say, long story short, things like this, it makes me uh, switch up my processes. So what I'm talking about is he's the only example I'll ever have. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna have a, a second time where it's you know my fault for not getting paid. So uh, when, when clients show up now on their first day, right when they show up, by the first evening before they go to bed, when they're filling out their waiver forms and signing them, the total amount due, the whatever re whatever is remaining uh, for them to pay on their balance is due before they even get to hunt. And that's kind of unfair to, you know, all of the awesome clients I've had, but I think it has to be fair to me. I can't I can't do this again. I can't I can't afford not to not to be paid my money that we agreed on, you know. So uh, live and you learn. It's only going to happen once. Uh, what, what do they say? Uh, happens one time. Shame on you. Happens twice. Shame on me. Happens three times. Shame on me. Real bad. <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, thank you all for being here. Uh, I didn't want to make this video. Actually, it just happened because things naturally happen, I guess. Uh, but... I just wanted to give you guys some insight of what goes on here. This is the this is the worst experience I've had all guiding season. So if this is going to be the worst, it's not too bad. Again, guys, um, spring books. The books for next season will open in spring. I think we're going to be running two spreads next year, so two groups of six all here at the lodge. So there will be uh, some more availability, some more room for you guys to book. Don't forget that the podcast has fired up. I will link it at the top of the description below. It is awesome over there. I think we've put up four episodes. The fifth one's getting ready to go up. It's a little more <laughs> of the raunchy back end of this story that, you're all, uh, that you all are watching. So if you want to uh, go get an explicit version of me being peed off, go over there and subscribe to the podcast <laughs> it's at patreon and it's only five bucks a month uh five bucks a month i know there, there's a lot of other uh podcasts that you can go subscribe to for free on itunes and stuff my stuff is not on itunes and i don't want children over there that's why it costs some money i hope you guys understand that but turn on that little notification bell down there it'll notify when your boy uploads Thank you for always purchasing Ducks merchandise. With you guys doing that, it helps me bring you guys more of these videos. So thank you, and we will see you on the next one.